So I found out something kind of cool just messing around um, with the HHO generator. Um, this right here in the sky is not sealed up yet. Uh, however, the wire is going down to a stainless steel uh, rod that connects that circle thing that you see right there is pretty much just, well, it's exactly one of these guys that I've cut a grid into and made it fit with the length and everything. Uh, so there's nothing but uh, stainless steel inside there. And there is actually a uh, pie thing that I bought from some sort of thrift store. It's about an inch and a half, an inch and a quarter in diameter. And it's you can't see it, but it's in there, guys. But it's coiled up, and it's all the uh, positive in the middle. It's got some insulation at the bottom of the, this canister. There's an outer ring that's also insulated from the outside of the canister. And I'm sure that you guys all know what the polarity is. <laughs> And here's my bowler, and I thought it was really cool that when you turn it at the bottom, it makes this strange little double bubble. And that's a big flask. It has nothing to do with this, but it's awesome for camping. It fits right on your back. Anyway. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about, the double bubble deal. However, with a bubbler, it would be impossible for something to spark this bubble, this bubble, this bubble, this bubble, whatever's coming up, to make it explode. And I think I have a moth in there. But with that little hook at the bottom, it's really, really neat the way that it comes out. And with that water blocking it, it would literally be absolutely imp impossible for anything to flash back with it. That's starting to warm up now. Yeah, I know, it could be better. However, so could gas prices. And when you can get fuel from water, electrolyte, and the current, that could possibly reduce your gas needs by up to, well, look at old Mayor's hydrogen buggy. <laughs> You can drive from coast to coast on 20 gallons of water, I think. Much cheaper than gas when you can stop at a water fountain. Anybody that can load a freaking dishwasher can make this. Unless you drink all of that. And that has nothing to do with it. With the hydrogen. Drinking, yes. Hydrogen, no. However, I thought about it. I haven't seen or tested how much 
gas is coming out later while I get. But it can freaking go. I think my solution's got too much electrolyte in it. I'm using baking soda. And it's about two and a half tablespoons. Not distilled water, it's just tap water because I'm just testing it. And that is got to be changed. And so does the uh, top of it. Does a trick. We don't need to be buying gas, do we? Shit the bed. <laughs> 